Hey guys, this is Podlet, and here on my Nexus 7 2013 here, and I'm going to be showing you the features of EX Kernel. So on the first page of the um, recovery installation setup, we have the uh, terms of use, which basically says if you use this program and screw up your device with it, it's not my fault, it's your fault. So. Next we have um, the option if we want to set uh, each CPU core's uh, clock speed differently. Next you have the uh, CPU optimization level, basically it's just a uh, boost of the L2 catch. Um, next we have thermal throttling, I'm just going to leave it at default. Um, default runs a little hot, but it's not too bad. Next you have the option uh, to set, what, uh, set your uh, clock speed, the highest clock speed you can go to. Uh, I do 1.8 gigahertz. Uh, because 1.9 gigahertz uh, is unstable and apps crash, so that's as far as I can get. Um, next, we have undervolting. Uh, I'm not going to play with it, but if you want to yeah, play with that feature, there you go. Next, we have GPU settings. Uh, you can overclock the GPU. I do 491 millihertz, megahertz, sorry. Um, and I, I haven't gotten any further than this. It says it's not recommended, so. Eh. Next, we have the uh, I/O scheduler. Um, I'm just going to use the default, and then we have the bus read ahead buffer size. Um, I'm just going to leave it at default too for now. Next, we have a uh, uh, sweep to wake, as you can see, and double tap to wake. Um, basically, if the screen's off, you can double. Tap. It just keeps the digitizer on. Um, I'm not a fan of it just because. My Nexus 7 has a uh, digitizer issue where sometimes the digitizer doesn't work. So you have to turn the screen off and turn it back on. However, turning the screen off with this on does not disable the digitizer, so you have to do a complete reboot. So I'm just going to disable it. But it's a cool feature. Um, then we have Sweep to Sleep, which basically you double tap the notification panel and it turns off the screen. Next, we have just various other settings. USB fast charge, it doesn't do anything as far as I know. I've tried fast charging uh, chargers with my Nexus 7 with this on and off, and I get nothing. There's no difference. Um, next, we have magnetic cover on off. I try to disable this because sometimes my Nexus 7 turns on and sometimes it just turns off for no reason. But when I turn this off, it stops doing that, so I just leave it off. Plus, I don't even have a... I don't even have my case on it that has that, so there's no reason for it on, to be on. Um, next, you have a battery life extender. Mm. Basically, it stops charging at 93% battery, just so it uh, does less wear. It puts less wear in the battery, because apparently charging past like 90% does a whole lot more wear than charging from 0 to 90%, or something like that. I haven't really looked into it. Next, we have uh, enable OT USB OTG uh, plus charge mode. Basically, if you have like a dock or something, you plug in your dock and you have the USB ports and you can charge it. So, I guess this is more useful. Like if you put like the, your Nexus in a, like a car or something. Next, we have uh, F Sync. Uh, I've tried it before, but there's not that much of a difference. And next, we have the backlight dimmer. I have this on because. I use my tablet at night, and this really helps. Uh, it doesn't dim it that much lower than stock, but you can really tell the difference. Uh, next, you have disable max screen off frequency. Um, I don't know what this is, and this was an option that was previously shown, I believe. So, yeah, I'm just going to use the stock CPU governor. Next, we're going to go install. Now, I'll run and install everything, all of your settings. And next, we're going to go ahead and reboot. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch it because it takes a little while. Alright guys, so now we have the external manager open. Um, so this is the first screen that you uh, see when you uh, start the app. Um, so here we have the uh, CPU information. Basically, it's this is the CPU usage and this is the core frequency so as you can see two of them are offline because it's not under any load right now so they're not needed and they're um, at one gigahertz so something's running in the background but it's not using too much 
uh, CPU. Uh, next, we have the GPU information, basically the GPU frequency and the max GPU frequency. Next, we have battery. This is uh, how much percent you have left, uh, the temperature, and the battery information. Then we have the RAM. Uh, basically, it just shows you how much RAM is being used out of how much it's available. Uh, then we have a sweep, a swipe to wake, sweep to wake, I don't know what it is, double tap to wake. Then we have IO, scheduler, and read ahead um, settings. And we just have the kernel information here. So next, we're just going to go down the row. So we're going to go down to CPU. And as you can see at the top, you have advanced settings. So basically, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, there's an option to turn off all the settings that you might screw up and break your tablet with. So that's pretty good. Probably should have that uh, disabled because I'm, I'm a moron and don't know what I'm doing. So for CPU governor, I just have Elemental X. Then we have the max CPU frequency and minimum frequency. Uh, you can set these in the uh, recovery setup. Next, you have max screen off frequency. Basically, when you turn off the screen, like an app running in the background, it will be only limited to a gigahertz. So, next we have hot plug options. Let's see, it's really blurry. I'm using the Google Camera app because my this uh, marshmallow uh, for the S6. You can't. The, it's considered overheating at 93 degrees when the CPU hits 93 degrees, and the camera app starts working at 90 degrees. So you have to use a uh, third-party camera app to actually record. So I'm currently using Google Camera, but the thing is, when you zoom in, it's all blurry. It's like a 1080p, I think that's the picture it records it. When you zoom in, it's still 1080p, it's just stretching out the 1080p picture, whereas uh, the Samsung camera doesn't do that. It has like a 4K picture or something. When you zoom in, you're zooming in on that 4K picture or something. At least that's what I got out of it. Anyways. That's completely off topic, but and then we have more miscellaneous settings such as uh, power saving, CPU statistic, and advanced options. So let's go to CPU statistics. As you can see, it just shows you your, uh, each frequency stats, and uh, I guess it's useful to see uh, what your CPU is generally averaging. So you can see at average, this idles at one gigahertz or almost one gigahertz. Okay, the camera app just stopped recording. I don't know why. Anyways, let's just restart my sentence. As you can see, we have one gear here. So it was it's been running at one gear for 16 minutes out of the time it's been. I started the tablet up, which will give you an idea of how many retakes I've done since I rebooted the tablet. Next, uh, just shows you out of how long this tablet's been running, how uh, the percentage of the time. That it was uh, spent at this uh, clock speed. I could have worded that better. Oh well. So basically, this is the most common one at 83%. That's where it generally averages. As you can see, sometimes when it's not under any load at all, it goes down to 284 megahertz. And uh, when it's under some really heavy load, which I think is just when I first booted up the tablet, it is at 1.8 gigahertz. So that's that, I think. Oh, wait, there's advanced options. Oh, that's stuff I don't want to play with. Okay. Then we have the uh, CPU temperature information, I believe. But nothing's here. Um, then we have thermal throttling. I believe this is at uh, what temperature, uh, what stage of thermal throttling should be enabled. I believe this is in Celsius. Next, we have graphics which is just the GPU chip. So, once again, we have the advanced settings option here. Um, we have the max frequency, minimum frequency, GPU governor, uh, advanced color control, which I'll show you in a minute, and then uh, backlight dimmer. Backlight dimmer, as I already explained, basically just dims it by like 5%, but it's really nice when it's nighttime. So here, you basically can tweak every color I believe some monitors have this ability. Um, basically, as you can see, if we turn them all down, it will look like trash. If you, if you turn them all down, the screen turns off. I think. Oh. Because there's safe mode on. If you turn off the safe mode, which basically allows you to hit every call at zero, that's when the screen turns off. I did that, by the way. It wasn't one of the best ideas I've done.
it wasn't my finest idea, that's for sure. Let's turn them all back up so we get all those colors. Yes. Next we have gestures. Uh, I just prefer them off, but uh, some people like them. So we have double tap to wake, uh, sweep to wake, sweep to sleep, sweep, sweep to sleep orientation. I believe it's like if you're in like landscape mode, you can disable it when you go like this. It doesn't turn it off. Let's see if I can focus this any better. Nope. Okay. We have wake function timeout. Basically, uh, you can specify how long it takes or how long you want this uh, that on until uh, it turns off automatically. So basically, if you turn off your tablet. And you say you said it's 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, uh, you can all, the digitizer will turn off and you can no longer double tap. We have power key, suspend wake gestures. It's going to be press the power key. It stops wake gestures. Pretty self explanatory. And we have magnetic cover. does the same thing. Um, this is pretty, this is a good idea because sometimes the magnetic cover acts as fingerprints and, or finger chip inputs and it'll turn on the tablet. Next we have voltages, which I told you I'm not going to screw around with. Um, but it's there if anyone's interested. Um, then we have sound. Basically, you have mic gain, camcorder mic gain. So, when, I believe when you're recording, turn that up. For speaker gain, <coughs> you can get this thing really loud. I haven't turned it up all the way, but even, like, a little bit higher than stock is really loud. Because the speakers are loud in general. And you can turn it down. Well, I was editing my video, and it turns out uh, the Google Camera app stopped recording again. I didn't notice it the second time. So, we slept off at sound. So, I believe I finished sound. Oh, things are crashing again. Great. Oh, I'm using the Samsung camera app. So, hopefully it doesn't overheat yet. So, we were at RAM. That's when it stopped. Well, it didn't get to RAM. So, here we have uh, free memory and available me uh, total memory. We have low memory killer. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but um, if I were to guess... Uh, this is sets how, the, like the priority of every app and how much they can use before they're killed. Um, then we have all these uh, wonderful options. I don't know what they do, so I'm not going to touch them. Next, we have miscellaneous settings. Most of these settings were already listed in the uh, installation uh, in Tor. So I'll go over them again. We have like read ahead, F sync, battery monitor. That's not. Uh, that's not in the Tor setup. Basically. Okay, things keep crashing on my phone. Basically here, it um, shows you battery information. You, it's on the main screen too, but it gives you a little bit more information, like how much uh, current is drawing, and uh, how long things last, uh, how, like with the screen on, screen off. Um, to be honest, if you're going to look for like a good battery app, I would recommend AccuBattery. That'll probably be my next video. Um, the next week, week next weekend. Um, I think that's it. No, okay, we have USB fast charge, uh, 2G, you know, all this wonderful things. We have the Mental X. This just looks for kernel updates, which there's one available right now. And then we have, basically, these are just shortcuts there. I think I've gone over all these. Yeah, like color controls under GPU, CPU governors under CPU. Yeah. So now if we're going to go to settings. And... We have themes. There are a couple themes you can choose from. Let's see if I can focus. Probably easier if I was using my <laughs> tripod. Um, we have uh, Fahrenheit uh, temperature, which is uh, currently set to freedom units. We have uh, CPU temperature notification. Basically, it should, should show right here. However, it just is not available. Then we have battery monitor enabled. Then uh, battery monitor, sorry. Then we have battery notification priority. Basically, I set it to minimum, so it's at the bottom. But when you uh, close the notification, it doesn't show uh, the icon. Then we just uh, we have like wipe app data, so you can reset it. Performance mode notification. Uh, basically, performance mode. I think it just uh, clocks every, ramps everything up. Um, it's, and then we just have some various app settings. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm sorry that uh, it fell apart. Um, I really got to get a real camcorder or something because my phone really, really like sabotaging me. So yeah, 
It's actually happened a couple times where it stopped recording when I was recording this video and I didn't even notice. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Should be going live soon. Um, maybe I'll upload another video uh, this weekend to make up for this horrible video. Thanks for watching.